Hey guys, you know, we reviewed a lot of generators here on our YouTube channel and we keep many of these generators for testing on rvgenset.com. One of the most popular reviews we ever shot was of this Champion 3100 watt generator with remote electric start. And we get a lot of questions about this generator. You want to know how it's been performing with us in the real world out on the road. So in this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of what I like about the generator, what I don't like about the generator, and what I really think about it, having lived with it for several months in the real world, including Walmart parking lots. We've got about 100 hours on the, on the generator, and our typical usage is in short bursts. For example, I'm a fine microwave chef and I need to microwave a meal. We start the generator. My wife needs to dry her hair with her fancy new hair dryer. We start the generator. So even though we have, we have about 100 hours on the unit, a lot of it's come in 10, 15 minute increments. At times, we might run it for longer periods of time. First of all, I really love the design of this generator. I think it's one of the best designed 3000 watt generators that I've used. I love the sort of short vertical height. It fits under just about any pickup truck tonneau cover that you're ever going to buy. And it's a very logical layout to me. I like the control panel on the front and the extendable handle on the right. Note that the exhaust kicks out to the right and on the left is the air intake. So wherever you're running this unit, you need to be very careful that the heat coming from the exhaust is not coming into contact with anything that might be flammable or might melt. The whole issue of running a generator in the bed of a pickup truck will be the subject of another video. In the real world, a lot of people do it. I'm just warning you, you really need to take care that that exhaust heat does not come into contact with the side of your truck or with any items inside your truck. For heaven's sake, don't have any fuel stored near that heat output of the generator. This thing weighs about 95 to 105 pounds, depending on whether it's dry or wet. And so it's just a heavy enough that uh, I'd say an average guy can lift it I really like the extendable handle and the wheel kit. I like the fact that there are wheels on one side and not on both sides because once it's in the bed of your truck or wherever you're putting it, it stays planted. It won't slide around in the back of your truck. So I really like that. There are two standout features of this generator that I absolutely love. The first is the RV Ready outlet. You can plug your 30 amp RV plug directly into the unit. This seems like a small deal, but it's actually a pretty big deal. And that's because typically with most of these 3000 watt class generators, you have to use a locking 30 amp adapter to plug your RV into the generator. It's not the cost of the adapter. Those adapters are like five bucks. It's the additional complexity and the fact that those adapters sometimes will come unseated from the generator. It's just one more thing to fail. It's one more thing that you have to go out in your bathrobe like Cousin Eddie and fiddle around with <laughs> uh, when it falls out. So I love being able to plug our RV directly into the unit. The second killer feature, and I mean killer, is the remote electric start and stop. Not just the remote electric start, but also the stop. Again, to think about Cousin Eddie, you don't have to go out in your bathrobe to kick on your generator or to turn it off at night. And on a cold night, that is invaluable. And so I want you to know, if you're thinking about buying one of these generators and you're trying to debate between the unit without the remote electric start and the one with the remote electric start, it's an extra like 100 bucks to get the remote start. It's money well spent. You will absolutely love this feature. This is a killer feature. I mean, it's, it's not a minor feature. To me, it's a premium feature that you're not gonna get even with Honda and Yamaha, not without aftermarket modification. So kudos to Champion for implementing this. All right, guys, it's time for a special cooking segment. You probably didn't know this about me, but I have some pretty serious skills with microwave oven. And today we'll be preparing a spinach enchilada with refried beans and rice. But first, 
Ah. The generator roars to life. Yes, we have microwave power. Two minutes. This is an old family recipe. Been passed down from generation to generation of Michael men, dating back to at least the late 1970s. I found that the remote electric start works about 90 to 95 percent of the time. There have been a couple times on extremely cold mornings when it has not wanted to kick on on the remote start. And so in that case, I have had to put on my bathrobe like Cousin Eddie and go outside and fiddle around with the generator. But 95% of the time, it works. The remote stop has worked 100% of the time. And that's really nice because a lot of times we leave our generator plugged in overnight. Note, you can flip on and off the battery. This battery will stay charged for like two or three days. So you can leave the battery turned on and it will recharge when the generator is running. And when you use the remote electric start, you don't have to worry about the choke. It has an automatic choke that engages when you use the start. And I'll just demonstrate it. So, pretty sweet. And you can see this green light indicates that it's outputting AC current. Turn it off. So, I really love those two features. And I found the generator puts out, you know, they claim 2,800 running watts. I found that to be most certainly true. It has done a good job of powering our 13,500 watt BTU air conditioner when we've needed it. We don't need it tonight, but it seems to really follow through on the promised power output. Now, things that I don't like about the generator. Uh, there's no fuel gauge and the fuel reservoir is pretty small. I think it's about a gallon. It's pretty good on fuel economy, but you're left kind of guessing as far as how much fuel is actually in the tank. So I really miss, uh, you know, having some sort of fuel gauge. And I've had an issue recently when the generator would be running and it's not actually outputting AC current. So that little green light doesn't light up and even though the motor is running, we're not getting any power in our RV. And in, in those cases, I've just had to kick everything off, shut everything down, and reboot it, and typically it will work. Now, some people have indicated that the control board might be having trouble in the generator, and if that's the case, I'm not a happy camper <laughs> with regard to that. But I will say, Champion has excellent customer service. Everybody I've ever talked to that's dealt with Champion customer service has been satisfied and pleased. And I've had to deal with them on one occasion. Like when we first ordered this unit, there was an issue, a question about what was supposed to be included with the order. I messaged Champion. They don't know who I am. They don't know that I do YouTube videos or anything like that. They were very responsive, very helpful, and I was really impressed with their customer service. I would say the, the elephant in the room with regard to this generator concerns the noise. All right, so I'm microwaving my meal now, and uh, here you can hear the generator under load. It puts out a good bit more noise when it's under a load, like running a microwave oven. It's definitely louder than a Honda or Yamaha or an Atima. Those Yamaha-powered Atimas, they're all quieter than this Champion. Those Honda and Yamaha motors have kind of a purring tone to them. They hum, they purr. The Champion has a little bit throatier, raspier engine note. I don't find the noise to be unacceptable in most environments or would be using the generator. I mean, like for example, tonight, we're in a parking lot somewhere in New Mexico. Nobody's really around and you heard the generator right there. It's not unreasonably loud. Now, if it's placed under a heavier load, it will throttle up and it's gonna get a little bit noisier. So I really kind of wish 
that it was quieter, but I don't find it to be unreasonably loud in most circumstances. Certainly if you're boondocking, if you're off by yourself, if you're at a rest area, if you're in a parking lot, then I think it's absolutely fine. And I will point out that if you have the generator uh, positioned in a pickup truck, which again, in the real world, a lot of people run them in pickup trucks, the truck itself acts as a bit of a noise buffer. And so you're really not getting the full brunt of the noise and your neighbors aren't getting that because it's being absorbed kind of by the walls of the bed of your truck. The generator's running right now. Can you hear it? Yeah, there's a little bit of a burble in the background, but it's nothing that I would call unacceptable. You can barely hear it from this angle. So with a little bit of strategic positioning, I think these champion generators are perfectly fine, especially if they're just being placed under kind of a minimal load. Now champion is a value brand. It, it's not gonna have any kind of premium cachet. There's no snob appeal. <laughs> To owning a champion you know i remember one guy online he said oh gross dude you're using a champion like there's something wrong with this but you know we have a bunch of generators this is the only one that has this little magic feature and i really like it and so overall i really like this unit i think if you're looking to pick up a quality 3000 watt class generator for less than a thousand bucks you're probably not gonna find one that's got the remote electric start and that's gonna deliver all of the features that this one delivers. Uh, so I think it's a really very competitive entry. Maybe it's not perfect, but for the money, I think it's a tremendous value. So that's about all I got to say about the Champion. If you wanna read some more reviews of the Champion, of course, you can click the Magic Affiliate link and it'll take you to the relevant Amazon page for this very unit. Again, I really like the unit. I think uh, it's good quality for the money. And overall, if, if you're not willing to step up to that sort of uh, $2,000 class of generator from Honda, Yamaha, and so forth, I think this is a great value option. And I wouldn't blame anyone for wanting to pick up one of these. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. If you've had experience with Champion Generators or if you've owned this unit, please chime in in the comments. Let us know your experience with your own generator and also in dealing with the company because we like hearing from you. Until next time, thank you for tuning in. I'm Sean, this is Long Long Honeymoon where we say, lo, lo, ho. Hi guys, it's Christy with Long Long Honeymoon. If you enjoy the videos that you see here on our channel and you wanna help support it and keep it going, then shop our Amazon store. It's the easiest way to support our channel. It doesn't cost you a penny and we get a commission on anything you buy. That's right, anything you buy that Amazon sells, we would get a commission. It doesn't have to be camping related. It can be anything. It can be speakers for your dad or an iPod for your mom or socks for your dog, whatever it is, we would get a commission as long as you start your shopping experience on our store through the link linked below this video. So go to amazon.com slash shop slash long, long honeymoon or you can go to longlonghoneymoon.com and click supply store. And then once you get in there, just go to the search bar to look for whatever you need that Amazon sells. Thanks so much. Lolo. -lo